Hey there, Blaze here, and uh, basically I've been working on some web appy stuff. And uh, recently I was thinking, hey, you know what I want to do? I want to, uh, I want to start looking into you know some HTML5 game engines again. Um, so I did, but um, I found a problem. Basically, what I found was that uh, I try to open this thing up, but uh doesn't work for some reason you know it should be should be something simple happening you know buddy hang on. check out check out console and huh access to image at uh, from origin null has been blocked by cause policy no access control allow origin header what so basically there should be like a little ship spinning around I'll I'll have to do like just screen for that, but um, should be simple. Uh, anyway, the short version is what you have to do is run it on a web server. Okay, so it has to be running on a web server of some kind. Uh, this is because a million years ago, or four years or something, Google and Mozilla, everyone got together and went, Oi, we shouldn't let people just hack you because they have a JavaScript thing running that looks at your directory. And all the other guys got together and went, Probably a good plan. So, um, I mean, given that things like Node and Angular and all the other ones are so prevalent in today's web society, um, they made it so that you have to use a web server of some kind. So, how do you do this? Well, first thing you do is you go Windows. Like, this is if you're using Windows. If you're using anything else, uh, I don't know how to help you. I'm just, I'm just here to help you with this, okay? Alright, you type in Windows Features in the Start menu. The Windows 7 will allow this if you're using Windows XP or something. Why are you using a HTML5 thing? You obviously don't care about you know the future. Okay, so see this Inf Internet Information Services. Tick. This will uh, include these, and that's good. Okay. Windows should be able to just do this. Uh, there's some versions of Windows, some light versions that do not allow you to do this. You don't even need internet. As you can see, I am not even on the internet. Okay, so that, that's just something that comes with Windows, and that's wonderful. So now, this is how you get to IIS, okay? Brilliant. So now you're in IIS. Uh, I like to change my default document, but I guess you don't have to do that. could just be default.htm. So, uh, I'm actually, you might not need anything. Uh, the default website is started, but, uh, you will need to change the basic settings, right? So I want my one, this is, you go to your directory here, right? So I don't like this folder because it's dumb. It's not where I put my stuff, but of course, if you're actually going to run a website, if you're actually going to run a website, this is not the tutorial for you. This is, I'm experimenting with some HTML5 stuff and my JavaScript doesn't work. This is that tutorial. Okay, so moving on. So uh, I've got in dev, Pixie projects. Okay, that's what I want. So, uh, restart. Now it should be default.htm, right? So, oh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Right. So, uh, let's see if I can go to localhost. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. That's a picture on my hard drive and it's accessed through JavaScript. 
Thankfully, it's going through some kind of web server, so it's okay. It's not a cross-origin thing. So, the reason that I need, that anyone needs to do this, is that, um, it's like a cross-origin restriction. So it's something, it's cause, and it's crap. It's the cause of a lot of pain. So, but I'm sure it protects all of us as well, so I don't know. <sighs> anyway, that's how you do it. It's very simple. Um, you don't need to do much. Uh, and now, you know, I can, I can test my little HTML5 thing. Isn't that nice? Hooray. All right. Um, in other news, I've moved. And this is my study now. I say my study, it's, it's, you know, uh, our study, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. No internet yet. I hate not having internet, but, uh, that'll be fixed soon. Anyway, until next time, this is Blaze. See ya.